How does that need it? Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Okay. When you're ready. And you're okay? Yeah. Thank you. It is my position that traditional dating far surpasses modern online dating when looking for a relationship of substance and meaning. Traditional dating allows you to see people for who they are and not who they would like you to believe from their online profile. There is a certain level of effort involved with traditional dating that modern dating sidesteps. And that perceived effort is has direct relation to how much value each person holds in that relationship. Modern dating has turned something that is supposed to be arguably the most important relationship of our lives and turned it in to a worldwide multiplayer game where people get to pick and choose their own characters that they wish to play. Through this debate, I plan to prove to you um, that traditional dating still has a place in the world and when looking for a relationship that you can carry on for the long term, that it is the um, best choice over online dating. Um, our position is that there's still tradition in modern dating in the day, uh, uh, relationships take take more than uh, sorry. Relationships take more effort than a swipe right, and we all know this. But it's the interpersonal connections that are still being made and developed naturally that hasn't changed. Yeah, you may might have met someone on Tinder and they like dogs and you have a dog, but that's step one. You still have to get to know them on a personal level, and it's not all based on what's on your phone. Uh, modern dating has also taken away the societal pressures to get married or to have kids or to have the cookie cutter life. Uh, there's more opportunity. People are staying single because they choose to stay single. And uh, they don't want to get married or they don't want to get married in their 20s and have the kids. And then our other position is? Um, so um, my position is um, that uh, well, Max's traditional dating isn't dead. And um, I'm arguing the pros to online dating because um, the way technology is advancing, it's easier <coughs> to find that special somebody. And I'm going to go into further detail in my other uh, points. Great. And back to you for your four points. Um, so it's not necessarily the technology that has made modern dating such a departure from the traditional style of dating. It is what these mediums are teaching us that are important. Um, and creating a scapegoat for the work involved, making subsequent relationships seemingly less, value, uh, less valuable or important. Um, diamonds have value because they are rare. If diamonds were free and their value, um, if they were free, their value and how you care for them would significantly decrease. And same holds true for relationships. When relationships are seemingly everywhere, we don't put as much emphasis on um, picking and choosing that right person because there is a plethora of other people on a number of websites that you feel like you have access to. Um, point two is that we've been reduced to checklists um, of interests and hobbies. Some of the longest, most stable relationships that I have ever seen, the two people have vastly different interests. And I think that's why, where we're starting to get things wrong with relationships is because we're um, looking for and being matched with clones of ourselves, And so we get bored and we're not growing as individuals and we're not learning new perspectives. Um, because we're just looking for those similarities that are within ourselves. Um, another problem with online dating is that it is an industry. I think it was about six million dollars in back in 2010 um, that online dating ensued in revenues. And so you have to take that into consideration that these people are paying monthly memberships to these websites. And those websites obviously from a business standpoint don't want you to find a match and leave their website because then that's affecting what their revenues are. Um, and the fact that we even have words in our current vocabulary like ghosting and catfishing is a testament to how genuine online dating has become. Um, there are stats that back all of this up as well. So from the Association of um, Psychological Science, they did a study and found out that reviewing multiple potential mates causes people to be more judgmental and are more inclined to dismiss a not quite perfect candidate that they otherwise would have had an actual interaction with in face-to-face -face conversation and would have learned more about that human being instead of just judging them for whatever their profile picture was. Um, people lie time and time again. It's over 53% um, that they admitted to actually lying. So we can even assume that that number is higher from the people that haven't admitted it that actually have lied on their profiles. And interestingly enough, from eHarmony, for men, what they looked for on an online profile was the girl's initial picture. 
And on the flip side of that, that is what over 20% of women said that they admitted to lying on was their profile picture. On the other side of the coin, women were most interested in what um, the man's profession was and what he checkmarked on his income per year. And on the other side of the fence, that's what guys are lying about. So when you're getting matched with these people that you think that you have things in common with and you think that you're weeding out the ones that aren't gonna be a match for you, are you really weeding out anybody? Or are you just creating this you know, overextended process to actually get to know someone? Back to you guys for your four points. Thank you. Okay, so my first point is that online dating is the new way to date in a modern world. If there is truly one in a million Mr. and Mrs. Rights out there, um, that modern dating apps provide you with the ability to browse at ex at a, a, an increased amount of potential people. This improves the chances of finding that special someone. If you combine that with the allegories currently used by many dating sites, True love is truly only a click away. Much the same way as dating has evolved um, from arranged marriages to traditional. Modern dating is the natural evolution and improve, uh, improvement of dating. Uh, between 2005 and 2012, more than a third of couples found their relationships online. Um, and my other point is, um, in the olden days, uh, the choices to um, the choices of who and to, sorry, the choices to find a partner were much more restricted than they are today. With today's modern dating, there are a lot more ways to find your partner now. Whether that's across the world or in a different city, we no longer have to limit ourselves to the proximity of our city and, uh, or our neighborhood, for that matter. Uh, in history, we have never had this many opportunities than we have in today's modern dating age. The sites today uh, that we have today help us find and meet people that would all, we would have never been able to do so um, in the olden days, the traditional dating days. And uh, also, online, um, also online tests that might be able to show you potential matches so that you don't have to waste your time. Those are my points. Uh, to add to Janelle's, um, I've always kind of thought that why, would, why should you limit yourself to people that are in the 100 kilometers of you? Uh, these apps and online help you uh, to find other people with the same interests in different areas. Um, dating apps don't really change what we want, they just give us better access to it. Um, on the point that modern dating, uh, or chivalry isn't dead, modern dating, traditional values. Uh, modern dating isn't a replacement for traditional values, it should just be used to enhance it. And, uh, and the dating process as a whole. Um, we've kind of moved into more of a uh, generation that instead of going on like explicit dates, uh, we test the waters and move out and or in and out of gray areas with people and use technology to explore what you can do with those people and what who they are um, to see if you are a potential match. Uh, and instead of putting labels and expectations of we're going steady or we're dating, you kind of just wait for the person who actually you want to invest that time in. So there are plenty of fish in the sea, but you're <laughs> going to put that effort in to find that one that you want. It's also what you put in and what you're looking for. There are people who go on these sites and they want hookups and they're going to get hookups. And there are people who go on these sites who don't say that they don't want hookups and then they get bothered when people only want the hookup scene. If you're on there for a relationship and you say that, yeah, you might get tricked, you might get lied to, but if you're honest about what you want and other people are honest about what they want, then something can work out. Uh, so in all honesty, it's just, it's an easier way to date and it's the dating that we are in. We can't go back to the traditional dating uh, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. And even back then, they had not online dating or app dating, but there were um, pen pal systems where it's kind of the same thing. You don't know them, you get to know them through messaging letters. Um, so this has been around forever. And also, there are going to be people in any... Hey. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Perfect, thank you for the time warning. Okay. And actually, like, legitimately... I was scared. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Okay, so now we have a minute break before we get into our open debate.
last class somebody played the Jeopardy theme with this point. Oh yeah, for sure. Open debate starts now. See, guys, sit there and are saying that it is just opening up what our options are. Don't you think to some degree that that creates so much confusion and it creates such an incredibly judgmental perspective where if someone has, you know, one thing that is not seemingly perfect for you of what you think that you're looking for in a partner, that doesn't that give you the mental perspective that there are hundreds of other people out there on some app who's going to have all 10 out of 10? And we're dismissing people for the slightest reasons um, that don't actually have any bearing on whether they would make a good life partner. What makes a good life partner is how well that you go through life with that person. And that isn't dictated whether they also like soccer um, or if their profile picture is perfectly filtered because we all know that those profile pictures isn't even an exact representation of the person that you're going to be meeting at um, your dinner or that sort of thing. And over a third of the time, people aren't even meeting these people that they're talking to online for a date. And you guys are saying that that's us just being able to sift through and we're keeping things super cool and super vague. But the fact that dates have been replaced with Netflix and chill is not a testament to how serious people are taking relationships through online dating. And so I think that um, you need to be clear with your um, expectations and um, hold st and stick true to your values and let that person know so you guys are on the same page. And uh, go ahead, to that. Well, just like I said before, in any, in any generation, in any year, this stuff happens. There are people who will only want to, maybe not, the term would be hook up back in the you know, 60s, 70s, but they did not want to court the person. It was all physical. Um, apps, yeah, I'm not saying that, that it's great that these apps are making us more judgmental, um, but that's kind of the society we live in. We, like, they're, they're, there's people with low self-esteem, and they'll go on there, and if someone doesn't like them, that might yeah, take effect on that. But at the same time, they know that there's someone else out there who will. So if they keep swiping, you know, they'll, ha they'll actually get a match. So there are pros and cons to that whole thing and what it does to your brain, but this is, again, what we're, we're dealing with. There's no way we can get away from technology. No, and I'm just sitting here and saying that by sitting on your phone in wherever you are, you could be in the bathroom sitting on the phone trying to get dates on Tinder or whatever medium that you're using, but what it's also doing is that it's taking away the effort um, that one has to put into to creating a relationship and to getting a date. Um, and through those processes um, are what kind of shape you as a human being as well. When you walk up to a girl or a guy at the bar and you get rejected, you get a little bit thicker skin and you have some tenacity and or you learn things from that. You don't learn anything by sitting behind a computer and if someone isn't matched with you, there is zero emotional resonance to that and you don't learn anything about yourself and or how to interact with other human beings in the world and I think on a greater scale that's what's happening happening kind of globally where we're more connected more than ever but yet we have no human connection at all and we're left um, being limited to likes and comments on our photos whether um, to determine if we have a relationship with someone you know what I mean so it's taking away those important steps that create meaning for a relationship and allow you to grow as a human being. Well, and there's a stat I have here that the percent of, um, 
52% of single people are too busy to find um, other matches and stuff because they're busy with work or school or whatever they're busy with. So that gives them a, more of a chance to like go out there and find people online and just to be clear with the, your intentions and to meet up with that person. And maybe if you didn't have that instant connection, maybe meet up with them again and meet up with them not at a house so we don't have to Netflix and chill or have that conversation for that matter. Um, and I think that there's different uh, websites like that are um, different apps that are better than Tinder because Tinder is well known to be the hookup site. But people have found partners. I've had friends that um, have had their, you know, they've gotten married off of Tinder and they've had good relationships off that as well. So there's other um, options like eHarmony, Match. I think everything is person by person. Uh, most relationships yeah. do blossom like with mutual interest because that's something that you can talk about instead of small talk. And I've had some god awful dates that friends have set up, you know, being like, hey, like, you'd be good together. Go out on the date. We weren't. And that kind of stuff. But I've had some really good dates on Tinder. Hey, because cut that out! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the open debate. Now you have a minute break before you get to your closing statements. Great job in the open debate, you guys. <laughs> so surprised. You don't say that! Come <laughs> down! Uh, you don't say that? That's from, um, I think it's from Step Brothers. <laughs> I love that movie. That's not a good movie. <laughs> It doesn't matter as a work. Yeah, if you if you like that's great. Did you say that before you say it? Like in closing. Yeah. Do you want another chair? No, I just need my legs to go under. Oh, okay. <laughs> the desk is not the best. Morning and told him to send an email. No, he like Skyler did send an email. Yeah, he messages. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was at nine seventeen. Just a heads up in case I'm not there. I'm feeling pretty sick this morning. <sighs> like Austin said, like the I'm feeling pretty snow sick. just ruined everyone. I know. Like There's the seven Simpsons. snowflakes. <laughs> Snow day. Do you guys typically get snow this early? It's all over the map. Yeah. Last year it was. It can't. It'll really like harder. Snow and then be gone in like a day and then. I know Calgary usually seems to get snow like a full month before Winnipeg does. Yeah, and Calgary had snow two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But just, it was just. Like it was just for the dam is down. Yeah. So it could warm up again. <coughs> Here's cool things. How are we doing for <coughs> We're good? We're good now, yeah. So do they close first? Um, Is that open? You open, yeah. So they get last word. So it goes back to you right now. Okay. In closing, nobody values anything they get for free. Online dating has gained popularity because it was easy. Because people didn't have to feel vulnerable and have the fear of rejection, and it was the fear of rejection was greatly diminished because you didn't have to do any real work. You don't have to get the courage to walk over to the girl or guy in the bar. You didn't have to worry about laughing at his or her jokes. You can simply type three letters, LOL, and mission complete. Meanwhile, there is no emotional connection or resonance, hence why people have become serial daters. They have no actual depth of connection to anyone they are interacting with. It is simply links on their profile, and for some, that is seemingly enough. Yet they sit at home on a Sunday night or whenever and are reminded of the loneliness that ensues their life because they are paralyzed by the crippling fear of taking the action steps outside of a thumb swipe, swipe to remedy the issue. All right. Um, so um, my ending statement is uh, in this modern dating era that we are in, dating is like math and it has become more and more easy to find that one person that one in a million connection with the help of technology and dating sites. We are now able to find that perfect person. 
55% of Americans who are um, in a marriage or committed relationships say they met their significant other online. And 61% of adults who have tried online dating agree that it was easier and more efficient than other ways of meeting people. Um, when back in the day, they didn't have cell phones and you had to deal with pen pals and everything. Um, now today, I mean, it was a lot harder to stay in touch today. In today's day and age, you're able to do that, even if you're, if you're across the world from the other person. So it makes it a lot easier to find your person. Um, also, uh, our other closing statement would be that no, mo no modern dating isn't ideal, but it is what we have to deal with. It's our time and age. And if you're being clear with your intentions, uh, you can actually find meaning meaningful potentials. Um, we've also evolved from the fact that uh, relationships are more about equality. So the guy doesn't always have to pay anymore. You know, it can be uh, that like a more mutual, um, beneficial uh, relationship. And technology gives us convenience. So we can check in on our loved one if we haven't heard them from them all day to make sure that they're okay, if they're sick, if they're at work, if they're stressed out. It's that connection that you're always in their pocket, they're always in yours. So if you feel lonely, you can reach out to them. If you, if you feel like you know, there's something wrong or you're dealing with other things, they're right there for you. Great to be you guys. Three hours. <laughs>